What's up? What's going on, everybody? Um, what to do today's show of How's the Market, Pensacola, for August, uh, what is it, 26? 26 now, last day of August. we got a Labor Day weekend coming up this weekend. Can you believe that? It's already Labor Day. That's crazy. Seems like the kids just got in school. Now they're going to have a three-day weekend. Um, <laughs> what, two weeks in? It's stressful. we got to have a three-day weekend. Oh, whatever. Um, but I know they're enjoying it. Um, seeing a lot around town. Uh, some of these thunderstorms have been crazy. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but uh, uh, some of the lightning got one of got my dishwasher, and the brains on the dishwasher got uh, fried, so I had to get that replaced. And then I also my salt water generator, the actual thing on the wall, uh, the circuits in there got hit with the lightning and fried it. Luckily, that's only a, that's not even a year old. Uh, so I was able to uh, get the warranty to cover that. So uh, that new part should be in this week. I'm going to go back to manually putting chlorine in my pool. And I just makes me always wonder why I didn't have a saltwater pool my entire life. Because it's so much easier to do it when the equipment's not struck by lightning. <laughs> so hope everybody's doing all right there. Um, got some crazy stuff going on with uh, uh, new builds lately. I've written about four contracts for new bills to be, you know, finished first part of the year uh, next year. But, boy, I tell you, there's there's some um, building going on that's crazy. I just th – today left uh, Breland, and they got a, a, a subdivision up off 297A, and you'll see it here in Scambia County. They're selling between, yeah, 190 and 230, 240. So that price point's really, really hot. Um, I think they've got – 67 homes in their total. They've been open like 90 days and there's like five left. That's it. They're going to be sold out like that. Um, and I'm going to do a couple of videos for Smith Station. They're opening up um, right across from Kingsfield Elementary. Uh, that will probably happen next year, but I'll see if I can just get you guys some scoops. Uh, it's 2,000 square foot townhomes. There's only like 40 something, 48 of them if I remember correctly. Um, 2,000 square foot townhomes with a full double car garage for every one of them. And I'll get you those details anyways, but we're not talking about brand new builds the whole time. We're talking about uh, the market in general. So I'm a man on a mission. My mission is to help people break through all the noise out there. And Don't need no permission. I want to help you get to actual truth. Don't you just want the truth? So, as I do every time... I'm trying to figure out the new software. There it is. All right, as I do every time, I always start with this slide, Russia. It says, uh, if we have between six and seven months worth of inventory, it is considered a neutral market. Anything under six months is considered a seller's market. Anything over seven months is considered a buyer's market. What the slide doesn't say is anything over nine months is considered a hyper buyer's market. And anything under three months is considered a hyper seller's market. So you got to market differently. Um, and you have to be ready to go with, as a buyer, uh, differently at those price points. So let's see where we're at this week. Uh, Scambia County, looks like everything under 300. If you look at last week, last week was anything under 350. This week in the Scambia County, it's anything under 300 is considered a hyper seller's market. These price points are just moving. Um, as, long as, it, as long as it's truly priced right. I had somebody call me up and they said, uh, they're listed with another agent right now, and they watch the show, and they're like, Shane, you said the 200 to 250 is moving. And I went, okay. And uh, I'm listed with another agent and have been for about four months, and, and we not even get showings. Okay, where are you at? Well, we're listed at 250. Okay. Is it worth 250? Well, I think so. And I kind of glanced, and I said, well, you need to talk with your realtor. I, I really <laughs> – you have a contract with someone. Um, so I can't be really ethically giving you advice, but um, if they're watching the show this week, I can tell the show it's not. Um, so if it's priced right, these are moving. If it's not, if it's really worth 220 or 210 and you're pricing it at 250, um, that's the market telling you. If you get showings or you're not getting showings, um, the market's telling you that uh, you're too high. You're too high. Something's wrong. Something is wrong. I don't know about all the marketing. There were different steps that they could take on that particular property, uh, but that one I knew was too high. Uh, so anything under 300 in Escambia County right now looks like it's pretty much a hyper seller's market. Three to about 
five or four fifty. Three to four fifty, seller's market. Um, but if you remember, the four fifty to five hundred was in the seller's market last week. This week, it's jumped up to a neutral market. So we've seen a little bit of inventory increase there. Or we saw a decrease in the appetite, which we may see some. Um, if you watched my five minutes in real estate show today, I talked a lot about how things are continuing to improve because of these low interest rates um, and what we're expecting, what we're predicting the rest of this year. But our biggest downfall um, is inventory. I mean, between 100 and 150 thousand dollars is 110 properties in Escambia County, wait till we get over Santa Rosa. You'll see. So, anyways, between 450 and looks like about 650, they're calling that a neutral. Although the 550 to 600, I would not put that yellow. I would not put that yellow. That is definitely a buyer's market because you're creeping up on a hyper buyer's market. Okay, because um, you got 8.8 .8 months worth of inventory. Anything over 650, definitely a hyper buyer's market because you've got at least a year's worth of inventory. So that's a scammy county. Well, it's Santa Rosa. <laughs> Remember I told you that 100 to 150, 31 properties total active. That's all you got. One month's worth of inventory. Shane, what does that mean? You keep saying about month of inventory. If we do not get more inventory this time next month, we will have nothing in that price point. It will be sold out. That's what this model so is showing. And so if you look at Santa Rosa County, anything under, we're going to keep, I've, I've said the same thing for probably four weeks now. Anything under about 450 is considered a hyper seller's market. And I'd even take that up to 500. I'd even take that up to 500 right now. So anything under half a million dollars in Santa Rosa County is in a hyper seller's market. That means if it's worth 210, you can't ask 250, but what would stop you from asking for 219? <clears throat> you can probably get it because we're getting the appreciation there. So we're not having any trouble with the appraisers either. Um, Shane, it's it's orange between 450 and 500. It's also orange between three and 350. So that's three months. We said that a couple of times. What that is, is that is your um, new builds. That's your new builds clogging up a little bit of the MLS, which is where this data comes from. So, yeah, that's what that is. Uh, 550 to 650, uh, neutral. We're going to just call that a flat neutral. And it's weird because 650 to 700, huge jump up to a buyer's market, hyper buyer's market. But then 700 plus, a drop back down to neutral. That's a little strange that that does that. But it's just kind of the inventory to 700 plus. We're only at 44. What is that at 700 plus in Escambia County? It's 91. Uh, so, yeah, it's a little weird that that does that. But, hey, it does. So that's kind of your numbers this week. Uh, yeah, there's the data. There's there's my mug. Um, it's because the rates have dropped so much, the buyer activity is out there has been strong. Like I said, I've I've probably written four new build conversations and contracts this month alone. Um, so people are still trying to do that because they can't find active stuff right now that they really like. Um, a lot of these that I have written the new bills, there's one or two of out of the four, two of them really do want a new build and they won't they don't want to move until spring. The other two that wrote it probably would have bought something because they would like to be able to homestead it next year. And you can't homestead something if you don't own it on December 31st at 1159 PM, you have to be the owner at midnight. Okay. Um, in order to homestead it that following year, if not, you have to wait. And some of my clients are, um, I got one client this year that he bought something in April and he's having to pay taxes drastically higher based off of the, um, estimation of taxes because he can't homestead it yet. Now he can homestead it, for security purposes, for legal purposes, but not for tax purposes. And this guy's a 100% disabled vet. So that means his tax bill truly is going to be zero. Okay, because they just give an exemption for that. But I think he's having to pay something like 280 bucks a month right now um, since April. Uh, so there's huge benefits to being able to homestead immediately. And two out of those four new builds would have bought something different if they could just find something. Just can't find anything. So if you're even kicking around the idea of downsizing or upsizing, especially in those price points we talked about, man, if you're even kicking around that idea, give me a shout, give me a call, leave me a message, shoot me a message. If you're watching this on YouTube, you know, get over to the Facebook page, 
you can shoot me a direct message there. Um, I answer those fairly quickly. As long as I'm not with a client, I'll make sure I get those answered. Um, and let's chat. Even if you're just kicking it around, hey, I'm thinking this might be what we want to do. Great. Let's do it. Let's chat. And uh, I will be the one person probably that's extremely honest with you and tell you, eh, you might not want to do that. All right? This might not be a good idea for you. But if it is, I'll make sure we can facilitate, and I'll show you how uh, the system I've created that's been proven and repeatable by market research um, to get it accomplished for you, whichever way you want to go. All right. That's all I have for you today. I hope you got a little value out of this, and I do ask this. I said, hey, if you haven't liked the Facebook page yet, we're seeing this Facebook Live right now, but if you haven't liked the Facebook page, get over to facebook.com forward slash Shane Willis, the realtor, and like that page. So if you're seeing this on YouTube or Instagram or whatever, get over there, show that. Um, like this like this post, if you don't mind, if you're watching this in replay, like the post, comment on it. Tell me if there's anything extra you want to see come out of this weekly show. And then if you found any value, do me a favor, share it. Share it. That helps me get the word out a little bit. All right? Thank you guys for listening. Have a great, great week. I'm a man on a mission. My mission is to help people break through all the noise out there. And Don't need no permission. I want to help you get to actual truth. Don't you just want the truth? <laughs>